Well, it was supposed to be 27 degrees out here this morning. It's way warmer than that. I was gonna bring you a uh, little quote from Walt Whitman. I forgot it. Man, it's like a regular Monday morning. Like, just forgetting everything, I guess. <laughs> hey, good morning. Thanks for being on the ride with me, at least. We'll get there. We're gonna get there. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. <laughs> you guys know me. I don't know nothing. I ain't no preach man. I'm just a monkey on a bicycle. Working to evolve as a filmmaker, poet, and human being. Thank you so much for being on the ride with me this morning. Now, don't get me wrong, it's chilly, but... It just feels a lot warmer than 27. So here's one of the bicycling tips for winter is that uh, wearing a backpack over wearing like a messenger bag, definitely gonna help keep you warm. <laughs> it's also gonna hold sweat in. So you gotta, you gotta balance that a little bit. Hey, good morning, coming around your left. <laughs> well, I think we started them, so sorry for you folks. Ah, look at this. This is our first bichromatic, chromochromatic, color chromatic, monochromatic. <laughs> it's not really all that monochromatic, is it? very desaturated hues. Whew. So folks, I don't have anything for you today. I apologize for that. I, uh, this back thing that I'm wrestling with. Hey, good morning there. is uh hit me hard late yesterday saturday night started got a little bit of work done on the house before my back started hurting so it was very little work it was just nailing up some boards i was twisted weird standing on a ladder but folks as mr hemingway says time is the thing we have the least of. And it's really, really feeling that this morning. In a very significant kind of way. Hey, good morning on your left here. But today I am still able to ride a bicycle, which is great news. I'm supposed to have my first physical therapy appointment this afternoon. I'm excited about that, but a little nervous. Don't know what that means. Nervous not about the therapy. Nervous about the price and the insurance and all that. I think it was brilliant of the Republican Senate to weaponize us against... Hey, good morning. That looked like a crew. It's kind of fun. A bunch of dudes all riding together. But no, how they weaponized our own health care against us. Just uh, dealing with the bureaucracy of insurance, finding a doctor. Nope, you can't get an x-ray there because we don't pay for it there. And the confusion around it and the misinformation that I get from the insurance companies. I'm moaning. I'm not gonna moan about it, man. Look at the yellow in these trees. Ah, look at those leaves falling so slowly. 
If I was going to spend some time editing the video version, I'd take the time to do that in slow-mo. I record these pretty natively on the, the GoPro for the video version. Do it at 4K, 60 frames a second, because that's what it tends to like. And then I can shrink it down and it looks pretty, pretty good for GoPro, but I really haven't figured out how to make the GoPro look good. Meaning I don't know what the camera settings are and I don't know what the post-production settings are and under what lighting conditions. I still kind of dig it all. Actually, I really do love it. I know that the GoPro maxes out in terms of like the quality that you're going to get when you're in motion. <clears throat> in motion. Go with the flow. I love this artwork here. Hey folks, I really don't have anything at all it seems this morning. I'm so sorry. I appreciate you uh, being here to listen though. I'm grateful to be on this big ride with you guys. You know, okay. Oh. If you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle, especially once it gets colder. The Walt Whitman quote I wanted to share with you guys was, I don't know what the poem is that it's from, or even if it's from an essay maybe. Sometimes it's hard to know because he's such a poetic writer in prose and in poetry. But he says, when we're done with politics and business and done with uh, convivialities and love when we find that these do not ultimately satisfy what is left. Nature is left. And I believe that. There's always something to that. Remember what uh, the psalmist David said? The Old Testament poetry that I look to the hill, I lift mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. Now, obviously, we can impart that to mean that he's looking toward God in the Judeo Christian faith, because that is the context of it. But I also like to believe that there's something about taking time to look at a mountain and oh my gosh you've got to go watch Peter McKinnon's latest the mountains will not remember me so good out on YouTube highly recommend if you're a photography or videography kind of person that you go check him out Peter McKinnon on YouTube he's uh, he's got an engaging way about him I, I really appreciate all he's done He's mostly like vlog style, photography, videography, help, tutorial kinds of things. Whoa, man, I'm feeling it in my back now. I don't even have that much in my backpack. Like I have very little in it. Uh, part of it could be that I'm running my tires a little low, like I was talking about last week, so that it's a little squishier ride. Folks, I'm terrified that I'm not going to be able to ride a bicycle. I mean, I don't know how to get around without a bike. Other than walking. I don't mind walking. It just takes a lot longer. Yeah, like about four times. Hey, I'm not complaining, folks. I'm maybe a little moany. <laughs> it's a big deal. Losing a certain amount of physical independence to be able to work on my own house, to be able to get around easily, to get on a bicycle, to get up into the hills, throw a backpack full of camera gear on my back and head down to the river. These are all things I love and I may have to take a break for a little bit, which breaks aren't a bad thing, but it's scary, man. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm moaning. 
go check out Peter McKinnon. That's a that's a always a warm spot in my day. Um, the mountains will not remember me. I think is the name of his recent little. Uh, it's more of a short film than a vlog, but he's also got one called The Bucket Shot about how he took his uh, photo up at Moraine Lake. And uh, that one ended up on a Canadian coin, like a, one of those special edition mint coins, which I think is awfully cool that a, a young photographer, I think he's 40-ish, gets his photograph on a coin. How cool is that? Well, folks, that just goes to show that if you love riding a bicycle, get out on it. Because the more you're on it, the more you engage with the thing you love, the more happiness and success you're going to find. We've only got so much time, folks. I appreciate you spending your time with me this morning. Even though I'm a little moany, I'm really sorry about that. I think things are going to be all right. But if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bike. It really, <laughs> significantly today, this is the only ride we get, folks. Hope to see you again on Thursday. Hope you have a great week. Hey, why don't you share a photo of something? What are you up to this week? Tag me in a photo out on uh, Instagram or Twitter. You can tweet a little bit about what you're doing. I'd just love to see about your ride out there. My ride's kind of boring sometimes. I like seeing what, what your thing is. Hey folks, have a great week. Thanks for being on the ride with me. We will talk to you on Thursday.